Okay, what we're going to show here is the installation of what's commonly called the D-ring, Teflon O-ring, on the aluminum advanced inch and a half pump. Now, while they do come on this form, which gets them into the shape of a D very closely, it still isn't enough to adequately uh, get them into the shape needed uh, for installation onto the pump manifold. What you want to do is, once you get your center section built up, you're going to start with the uh, inlet side first, so the bottom of the pump. And what we need to do with the, with the uh, uh, seals, once they come off the form, you're going to take the flat side and just form it by hand to kind of accentuate that curve and the flat side there as well. Same on the back side, not as much, but it's just going to get it into more of that D shape. Okay. Now, once it's in that more of a D shape than it, than it is coming off of the form, you can't simply place it into the O-ring groove at this point. It just simply won't stay. No matter how you push and form, it's not going to stay inside that groove. You, there'd be, it'd be impossible to hold it in place unless you literally glued it, and that is not necessary. What we want to do is place it actually on the inlet manifold assembly. You've got your elbows and your T-section built up. You simply place that formed ring onto its spot, and I've already done this with the second piece here, onto the spot where it goes on the manifold as close as possible. And now we can take the built-up assembly and simply place it over What's going to happen here is it's going to try and form its way into there. You just wiggle it until you feel it pop into place. It's pretty apparent when it does, and there's really no chance of pinching uh, the seal once it's in there. You can feel it sliding around, and, and you'll see that the gap has been taken up because now that seal has fallen into the groove. Make sure that that's the case on both sides, and you can simply install the bolts and torque those down into place. And we will do the same procedure for the top manifold. Remember, once again, you're going to place it on and just kind of wiggle it into place and you'll feel when those seals pop into place. And you'll see that gap taken up as you wiggle them into place. That looks good right there. And you'll just pop the bolts on and torque them down. Now obviously it will become apparent if you haven't done this properly you'll find leaking in this area uh, but after a few times you'll, you'll get to really good at forming those rings and getting them into the right position to properly install that on the pump.